Scanning now. We're clear. Commercial vessel out of Vega 3. Provided that the civilian traffic is restricted under lockdown. Copy that. Archangel. Archangel. This is Krugeri. Come back, Krugeri. Redirect to Sector 7 Bravo Echo for immediate tasking. Copy that. On our way. I know I just wrote you, but a couple of hours ago, proximity sensors on, on the other side, side of the jump got twigged. Where it is, it might be that clan we've been battling with. I guess that last fight didn't scare them, them off, off quite like we all hoped it would. Honestly, we've been out here so long, I don't know what to pull for anymore. I just... I just wanted to let you know. Right as soon as I can. Stay safe. Your loving son. Never gets old, does it? Sir. It is. I used to do the same thing when I was first coming up. Post up to the flight deck whenever I could to watch the launches. Have you seen the F-8s up close? No, sir. The thing's a beast. Nimble, too. Twelve maneuvering thrusters and three mains, it sure sounds like it, sir. Captain McLaren, to the bridge. Captain McLaren, to the bridge. I saw you apply to the Flight Academy again. Yes, sir. Keep your head up. Took me a couple times before I got in. Thank you, sir. Welcome to Cloud Imperium Games Manchester Studio. I'm Chris Roberts, and I'm pleased to announce we have just passed the major milestone. Squadron 42 is now feature complete and has entered its polish phase. To celebrate this milestone, we've gathered some of our core leadership together to share what this means. As Chris says, we've moved into the polish phase of Squadron 42 which means extra emphasis on ensuring things feel fun. This means focusing on the small and large elements of the game, such as dialing in combat encounters, but also looking at the feel of how you control your character or vehicle 
and making sure it's immersive as possible. We've paid extra attention to how your character reacts when in their ship, so that you feel like an actual pilot, whether that's firing your weapons, taking hits, or punching the afterburners to get to cover. Ship AI has also seen huge improvements with closer engagement distances and more varied behaviors. And with our new precision targeting mode, the action has never been as close. With the aim now on polish, we've organized the project into self-sufficient strike teams, so we can focus on individual areas to deliver the best experience. This allows us to bring all disciplines together with a unified vision of enhancing the gameplay by seamlessly blending it with polished visuals, final cinematic performances, and our ever-improving technology. They didn't see the boat, kid. They're good to keep going. We're also dialing in gameplay features, such as the ship flight model, for both atmosphere and space, which covers master modes, control surfaces, and our gold standard HUD and MFDs. Our interaction system for both the world and your character have also seen additional improvements, allowing us to hone and craft environmental puzzles unique to each location, while allowing us to tell the story of the world around you. The military multi-tool is an essential piece of equipment for every pilot that integrates all attachments into a single handheld device and allows us to create really interesting challenges, including physics-based puzzles using our updated rope tech. Unidentified vessels, this is the UEE Navy. Power down your ships and stand by for processing. Off the Our scanning, targeting and marker system has also seen an overhaul, allowing us to highlight only the essential information that you need, such as key objectives, mission targets and high-level scan information, while keeping your overall view as clean as possible. Damn skank! FPS combat and stealth, which has seen a suite of improvements from improved looting, weapon feel and balance, realistic scopes and smoother locomotion, alongside our new and improved FPS radar and scanner that provide you an overview of the battlefield but at the cost of ramping up your own emissions. We've also seen the introduction of our Maelstrom powered destructible environment, which adds a layer of dynamism to the experience alongside our improved AI that can now have hundreds of combinations of traits that allow us to create unique and challenging combat encounters that really push your tactical awareness and skill. Play and review the builds regularly 
and call out action points in each level from start to finish and where we need to improve the gameplay. This is an incredibly rewarding stage of development for me and the team, as the ultimate vision of the game is realized, allowing us to craft an experience that we can be really proud of. One specific area that I'm excited to dial in is the feeling of the player interacting with the world around them. Patching you in. As it's a core component of Squadron and really grounds the world that you inhabit. We've made sure that any interaction in the environment is physically represented by a character animation to keep you in the moment and fully immerse you in the experience that we've created. Ultimately, this is the final phase of gameplay iteration before we fully transition into optimization and stability on the road to release. Here's your trail. This is Colton. Come back. Always trips me out to see terraforming setups like this. Web tried explaining how atmosphere processors work. It really shows how far we've come. What the hell is she? With the transition of Squadron to Polish phase, we've had the opportunity to find additional moments within the existing narrative to add subtle interactions where appropriate. It's been tremendously exciting to play through these areas and find places to augment the mood, support gameplay, and further embellish our story and characters. So yeah, man, I, I, I can't believe it. They said I've got to wait another two years before I can reapply. So, um, so that's why I figured I'd get a job trying try in security, because that's... Um, you know, I can get some hours flying in the cockpit and whatnot. Can't hurt, right? Yeah. Exactly. We've also been capturing pickups for our lead female player character, as well as wild lines for our various enemies that you all will encounter throughout the game on both foot and in your cockpit. These consist of a range of responses and reactions that you as the player can trigger, which has been the culmination of efforts by the gameplay and AI teams. This means that you're gonna have to tangle with some very smart and reactive bad guys to complete your mission. At the heart of this immersive adventure, you'll find cutting-edge cinematic storytelling thoughtfully crafted to fully immerse you into your story. We fight today! So in 40 years from now, when you're surrounded by everything and everyone you hold dear, and they ask, what did you do in the Battle of Vega? You can look them in the eye and say, I heard the line. Men and women of the Second Fleet, I am proud to stand with you today. Good luck. Wish you back. Nice speech. Any word from the recon team? Not yet. Well, let's get into position. Throughout the Polish phase, our team is taking every opportunity to push things to the next level. Tell me you're expecting company. This is not good. The Cine team is focused on finalizing edit lock on all of our big action as well as all smaller character sequences. I could have pulled this off of the Galactopedia. Yeah, probably, but I think their solar mass calculations are wrong though. Well, this is ridiculous. How so? We are now able to adjust our shot composition to final cameras thanks to recently crafted space vistas and level art being content complete now. It'd be nice to know how much of a shitstorm we're flying into. More like a hellstorm, Blue. One you ain't gonna fly out of. <laughs> Shut up! Now, I hadn't seen another ship that wasn't trying to kill me in days. Let alone a hauler, let alone a Jean. So you can imagine my surprise. Detailed lighting passes can be done on hero sequences so we can show our cast and convey their emotions in the best light possible. 
and we're making sure our cinematics are triggering as fluid as we can craft them so they form a coherent concerto with the rest of the player's narrative experience. Mr. Wexler, this is Lieutenant Commander Colton. Oh, Commander, hey, Julian Wexler. I'm the field manager of this little operation. Welcome aboard the Archon. What brings the Navy to this little corner of the universe? We got you flying with Lieutenant Commander Colton. He's one of our best. As others will share, this is the most rewarding chapter of development, which allows us to truly experience the visceral and oftentimes emotional moments that our narrative provides. How did you handle it after Vega? I'm not sure I handled anything. It helps to remember that stuff like this is supposed to hurt. I've never been good at dealing with problems I can't fix. Well, this is one that you don't have to do alone. That's good to know. For the animation teams, polish phase means refining the social aspects of Squadron 42 that occur between the various missions and getting the behaviors implemented across all of its chapters. Here we're dialing in the hangar to make it as immersive and believable an experience as possible. Beginning of